We're in New Jersey at a public golf course, but it's more of the community golf course here. Clear Brook Golf Course. Now look at this, this is great. Nine holes, flip it into 18. It's a gated community, it was tough to get in. Let's take a look. How you doing? You just trying to play golf here? Thank you. On this golf vlog, we're headed to central New Jersey where we're looking at a community-based golf course that's nine holes called Clearbrook Golf Club. Now, there's a lot to offer here as we walked in with an opportunity to make a tee time. Walking in, we were able to get off, but it's one of those courses where you're not sure if you're going to go off next or not. When with the group in front of us, there was nowhere to go. You just never know when you're in a spot we are on number one on a cheap golf course where anyone could just walk up and play without a tee time. I don't have a tee time. I was able to go right out. I don't want to push these people too much, but... This nine-hole course was built and designed by golf architect and award-winning golf architect Al Purdy. Now, he designed it a set of four tee boxes here to choose from at the golf course, and you're going to need all of them as you play 18 holes here, flipping nine upside down. So that gives some opportunities for different shots on some of the holes, but they didn't do a great job of really identifying that. If you play on the white tees, I recommend going back to the blue tees and vice versa when you move through your first nine and then 18. But it, it's going to be quick because the course only plays 3,000 yards. It offers that opportunity for 6,000 at 18 holes. It's ranked, at least internally, as the number one nine-hole golf course it's open to the public within New Jersey, and it's got that fun feel to it with some bridges cutting through it, but it's a tight golf course nonetheless. Probably throw away your driver if you hit the ball 250 yards here. It's going to be a quick round, and you'll find yourself hitting up on people. One of the best parts about this golf course is the golf deals. Now, at a budget golf, we're kind of looking at that immediately. So one thing that jumped at us is a 10 round of golf for 100 and 90 or 160 dollars total so 10 rounds of golf here probably both 18 holes so you flip that nine two times so really you're getting 20 rounds of nine hole golf here for 160 bucks that's a good deal they even have packages for 20 and 40 rounds of golf now when it comes to the rating of this golf course from other golf outlets like golf pass it's a solid 3.9 out of 152 reviews moving right over to google which is typically the one that we're targeting it's a 4.3 which is kind of an eye an eyebrow razor and the reason is because it only has 33 views which is probably all community based reviews and we got to take a look at those things now this is a great golf course i think you're getting a good price for it. Uh, I think we went out there, it was 25, 30 bucks to play this. We're gonna walk through those prices right now. One thing you will need to be mindful is the weekend ride rates for 18 holes, it's 50 bucks. So it does go up a little bit for those 18 holes. Now, kind of digging into a little bit of research on it, you're not getting 18 holes here, you're getting nine holes. Uh, there is a price difference according to their website. Now, in these community-based golf courses, sometimes you get wrong information from the local golfers that you're playing with. And I thought you could just play it over again. Now, there is a nine-hole rate, which is $20 to walk, and then a $25 walk to nine 18 holes. So you're just adding another $5 to flip it. And it's definitely something you got to be mindful because when you make that turn, the clubhouse is right there. There's not many people here, so they're going to keep an eye on everyone on that golf course. Uh, we only booked nine holes, and we only had the intention of playing nine holes here. But for an extra $5 to play another nine holes, it could be well worth it. So 25 bucks again to play this golf course. That's right. Um, to ride it, it goes up to 50 on the weekends. So that's a big difference, and that's not worth it. And we're going to make that a consideration when our score of 1 to 10 is made at the end of this video. The course has been recognized by major golf outlets like Golf Choice and Golf Advisor in 2001 as considered a beautiful golf course that is well maintained in the, being a thriving community here. It also has many other amenities like a fully stocked pro shop that you saw earlier in the video, a driving range, which is very small, didn't get footage of that, a large practice putting facility, which we did see in the beginning as well, chipping green, which I didn't notice, and then they have the online green fee, so you can book your fees online. But it's a free-for-all here. I felt like we had no tea time. It didn't look like there was any available. And they kind of just let us off uh, 
it was one of those feels where if the tee box is open, get out there, but you're not going to be moving too fast. Now, in a rating of 1 to 10 for our channel, you're going to have to put this somewhere in the 5 range. I think a 5.8 is a low score for this guy, of course, but some of the holes kind of dropped it down to, I think, a, at least a 5. And historically on this channel, as you move into 9-hole golf courses, it's really hard to give it anything over a 7. So... I don't know if it was just the feel of the golf course. The tee boxes right off the bat, you can see, weren't in the best shape, but it had a lot of characteristics of a fun community, almost private golf course. Maybe you're down in Florida type feel of a golf course. But all in all, this is a good experience. Don't let the score uh, take away from it. Anything over a five right in the middle is above average golf course. And that's something that we need to be considered when we're looking at all these golf courses that some of them aren't going to be the best and I don't think I'm going to give out sixes and sevens to every golf course that I see in play. Surfaces were probably the worst part about it. I just thought that they kind of were a little bumpy. They weren't the best putting surfaces compared to other courses in the area. The green is, greens were lush. Tee boxes were pretty lush here. Uh, some holes were better than others. I think this final hole going to the clubhouse was in one of the better shapes compared to the other uh, holes. That's going to really do it for this video. Keep a lookout as we continue to play golf in other parts of the state, world, and anywhere else we can possibly play. If you have any recommendations along the way, let us know. We're just a small golf channel trying to play as much golf as we can. All in all, Clearbook offered a lot of opportunities for fun golf. But again, depending on the time of the year you play, it could be a little busy get out there. Launch control, this so is Houston. with that being we said, keep a lookout as we continue to play more golf around the world. This is Twilight Golfer.